He was a man of conviction. He was a man that you know, believed in America and, and believed in what was doing right. The scene of a real life Halloween horror story is now a busy neighborhood in North Denver. Back then, North Denver was, was known as Little Italy. It's a Halloween horror story with bootleggers and gangsters rather than ghosts and goblins. A true crime story now a century old. Yeah, I've been hearing this story since I was a little boy. A tale told by an Arvada man who never met his great grandfather, but has long admired him. I wish I got to know him. You know, he's sounded like a really cool guy. Jeff Rose says his great grandfather, Denver police officer Richie Rose, began the day like any other. He was put as saying, you know, I'd rather die doing what I believe in than, than to live out my life as a lie. It was October 31st, 1922, Halloween. After having breakfast with his sister at his house on Calamath Street in North Denver, Officer Rose checked his police call box about a block away. And he turns around and he notices his car coming up the street at him real slow. And he doesn't recognize anybody in the car. So and that, that scares him, that alerts him. Now he, he's running back to his call box to uh, call for backup. And, uh, you know, two, two men get out of that car and another guy comes around the corner and, and they ambush him. You know, they, they open up fire from all sides. Jeff says his great grandfather was shot a total of 13 times. He died at the hospital about an hour later, but not before managing to say three final words to his sister. He's trying to tell him what happened. He's trying to, he can't get out a sentence. And he tries like three times. And the only word would come out was the first word was mafia. So he said, mafia, mafia, mafia. And, you know, that, that was it. You see, according to Denver police, Officer Rose had helped shut down several illegal bootlegging operations in North Denver since the start of Prohibition two years earlier. And according to his great-grandson, Officer Rose made it clear to the mob that he was not for sale. You know, organized crime had really ramped up. And uh, one of their main business practices was to try to buy off as many policemen as they possibly could. So he just said, no, I don't want that you know, anywhere around me. And uh, so in doing so, you know, he obviously made a giant enemy out of the mob and uh, put a target on his back. Despite a prediction by the Denver police chief that Officer Rose's killers would be found within 24 hours, the case was never solved. You know, everybody missed him when he was gone. So... <sighs> 100 years later, Jeff Rose says his great-grandfather remains an important figure in his family. For all that he did, there should be more men like him, and all that he refused to do. His story is, is you know, a timeless story of, of, of the little guy who stands up to a big organization uh, for what he believes in and for what is right. You know, he had uh, the integrity to follow it through right to the bitter end. In Denver, Matt Jablo, 9 News. At the time of his death, Officer Rose had just begun his second year with Denver police. He left behind a wife and five children.